is Brittany. So today it'll be a back in time watches video, which another way I like to call it is movie memories. Only because when I talk about a specific movie, on um, looking back on whichever movies that I've watched the first time, how old I was, and what I thought about it, how it made me feel and what impression it left on me then yeah it's just kind of like going down memory lane except movie memories if that makes sense so today i'll be talking about the first time that i've watched dress park 3 and dress park 3 came out july 18th 2001 by that time i was nine and um, I then looked up on when it came out on VHS because I believe I did watch it on VHS and not really in theaters. So when it came out on VHS, it was December 11th, 2001. So and so around that time, I think when I did have it on VHS. Um, so yeah, I was 10 watching it watching it even up until you know when I was still 10 in 2002 so so yeah, I remember that when I did watch it the first time um I mean I didn't know what to expect but I just thought okay this is gonna be a very you know fun dress park movie but then, of course, you know, there was just some things I, I did like, some things I didn't like. <laughs> but um, honestly, I, I didn't like how the character, Amanda, how she was like always um, screaming with, with certain parts. But I think the only part I think is only acceptable is when she is screaming because she's seen her um, boyfriend's corpse, you know, that's like hanging from the parachute and it's right in front of her. So that, I, I can see why. So, uh, that, that's okay. But other than that, when she's screaming with other things and another parts, I'm like, you know, and plus it doesn't even really sound like she's really scared. It doesn't really sound like... It doesn't... Her screaming doesn't really sound like... Like screaming bloody murder. You know, it, it doesn't sound like she's terrified. Even though she is, the scream itself doesn't really sound that way. And... What I didn't like was, um the designs of the Velociraptor. I just thought maybe the way they looked could have been more different, maybe similar to the first, or maybe maybe somewhat similar to the Lost World. But another thing that I really noticed, which is very noticeable, which is the Velociraptor's eyes. Cause to me, it seemed like their eye shape seemed a bit small. And their pupil. Their eye pupil looked a bit small. And because I noticed that, I did not like that. I did not like that change. And yet, I remember when I first was seeing this and noticing this um, when I was watching it, and since I was, since I was 10 at the time. <laughs> I just remember thinking like, why do their eyes look so different? How come they look kind of small on their, even their eye pupils, they look small. <laughs> you know, like a, uh, I, I don't know what, but I just did not like that change. And to me, I thought they just don't look scary and intimidating enough like the first because you know in the first you know the floss doctors i think look a little bit um bigger and taller i believe and not only that but even their eye shape looked a bit 
more, you know, bigger, um, and they even have the, you know, eyes slit down the middle, which makes them look more intimidating. So I actually really like that because, you know, that's what I grew up with, and that's something that I actually love. Like, I love the way that they looked in, in the movie. But seeing this change of the third one, I was just like, what happened? <laughs> like, what happened to these poor Willis Rogers? They don't look scary like the first. Their eye shapes are different. Their pupils are different. So, yeah, I, I really had an issue with that, which in a way, I still do. I still don't like that a change of the Floss Rogers design in the third one. Now, I know there are some who probably really love the way they look in the three, and that's, that's fine if you do. Although with me personally, I I don't love it. I just wish they could have looked a bit more better, and I wish they could have looked at least a bit more, or at least similar, no, similar, um, to have that scary, you know, intimidating look like the first. I'm not saying they have to look exactly like from the first, but maybe just a bit similar, just so that way you would know, like, okay, these are, you know, Jurassic Park looking dinosaurs, but somehow they just looked drastically different. In some ways. So, yeah, I still have an issue with that. And the one thing I did not like um, is that, you know, seeing the, the Spinosaurus fighting with the T Rex and seeing how when they're fighting and the Spinosaurus grabs the T Rex by the neck and it, you know, cracks its neck like that. Now, that's something I've never seen before in the movie. And, well, you know, like when it comes to the neck part crack, like, that's something I've never seen before until Jurassic Park 3. And then, of course, I have seen other neck snapping, neck cracking parts in other movies until I got older, but I still don't like that because it makes me feel very uneasy and it just makes my stomach turn you know completely upside down because it's just very brutal it's just unnerving and very unsettling and it's to me it's just completely uncalled for you know so ugh, no but seeing that Seeing the T-Rex's neck, you know, being cracked like that by the, by the Spinosaurus's jaw, you know, when that happened, I remember that my mouth dropped. I was completely speechless and I couldn't believe what I've just seen and, and you know, because I couldn't believe what I've just seen, I just remember I, I couldn't really wrap my mind around it, like, why it happened that way. And so I'm just like, you know, I, I couldn't make sense of it. But I think I read somewhere of a, of a fun fact about how I think it was the Spinosaurus animatronic that did that to the T-Rex animatronic. So it wasn't really in the script itself. So at least that's good to know. But since that happened because the animatronic did that, that is just bizarre. You know, completely bizarre. And so I think you say how it made me felt was some parts I felt were fun. Like fun with some adventure to it, you know, even like um, with dinosaurs in it. But I just felt like I could have done at least better. I'm not saying better than the first, but I could have done just, I could have had a little bit more action, I could have had a little bit more going on, 
and I think the person who lived on me was I think the same thing that part three could have at least been a little bit more different it could have um, had this really maybe intense action thriller um, story you know and be that type of movie where you know where it could be where it would have the same um, atmosphere and feeling to it like similar to the first where some parts feel intense and you feel like with even with certain parts you feel like intimidated like intimidated by so I really do think that it could have went in that direction and I think if it would have I probably would have liked it a lot more but because it didn't really went that way you know like I still like it you know that scene I still like part three but it's not my favorite but you know that's okay and so yeah so let me know if Jurassic Park 3 is your favorite so but you know this is just me how I felt about it but I know there are those who just are a fan of Jurassic Park 3 and love it and hate you know that's great because um you know there are just some other movies that s somehow we um, love more than a, than others, you know, and that's fine. Because sometimes there are some where maybe we don't love the first movie because there might be some sequels that we tend to favor and love more than the first. Or sometimes we just love the first because we don't like so much of the sequels. So sometimes it kind of depends. Although with me, I would say there are some movies where it just kind of depends. You know, so I, I think in this case I love the first one more than part three, but that's just me personally. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Back in Time Watches video and let me know what you think about Jazz Part 3. Do you like it? Do you love it? let me know and to see more movie content like this please subscribe like the video and leave a comment down below of what you think about Charge part three <sighs> oh and before i go now i know october's coming up and i'm very excited about that because um, I am planning to do a bit more videos by next month, so get ready for that because I will be reviewing um, horror movies and maybe reacting to something scary. And of course I will be talking about horror movies um, by next month, so be um, on the outlook for that. And if you want to see um, me taking taking a horror movie quiz video, like if I was to five in one, or what kind of uh, horror movie character I, I am, um, kind of quiz. If you want to see that, I will do that by October. So yeah, I'm very excited because we're in the fall, and I love the fall. I was born <laughs> in autumn, so. I just love this season. I love this time of year, so I'm just looking forward to October, and I'm also looking forward to the videos that I'll be doing for next month and on Halloween. So that's all for today, and I'll see you at the movies. <laughs>